Morning, church. Let's all rise. Open your Bibles to Luke chapter 2, verse 10 to 11. Luke chapter 2, verse 10 to 11. Verse 10, But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all the people. Verse 11, For today in the city of David there has been born for you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Brothers and sisters, uh, you may be wondering why I chose that verse. Uh, Christmas was a week ago. You're in the right time, the right place. This is our last day of service as far as this uh, year, 2017. But Christmas isn't over, you know, Christ is with us. Christmas is just a season. What a better way to, you know, begin a year or anticipate or look forward to a year knowing that God is with us, that God is faithful. You know, it's, He gave us His Son, our Savior, and that's great news, you know, the joy that He has given us, you know, uh, through this coming year. 2017 may be a roller coaster ride for some. There were, you know, some highs and lows, ups and downs. But remember that God is faithful. Let us pray. Father God, we just know that the uh, you haven't forsaken us, that you haven't changed, that you will always remain faithful. And we've seen that, we have witnessed that throughout this year, 2017. A lot of things happen to our church, to our city, and you know, even in this country. But we know that you're with us. And from the time that you've given us, you know, a new pastor, the time that, um, we planned, you know, in a short notice, uh, BBS, you know, activities for camp, the, the mission to the Philippines. You know, even the time that uh, this city was hit by Hurricane Park, you know, you were there all throughout, that you were faithful. We cling to that promise that uh, there's always hope your Son, our Lord and Savior, as we look forward to a new year, a new beginning, may it not be, you know, plans and goals of what we should do or what we should achieve, but it must be, you know, plan, God's plan, what we should do, you know, to glorify you. It's not about, you know, um, how uh, 2018 will work out, you know, as far as our, our work, you know, our studies for those who are in school, but how we could bring you to the people. How could we show others of your love? May it not be a resolution and your resolution, you know, inspire us to look forward to 2018, but by your words, by your true words, your scripture, may these words, you know, inspire us, encourage us, just give us the wisdom and guidance as we welcome 2008. Father, as we uh, come to you today to worship you and glorify you, may, we, may our hearts be right with you. For those who are seeking, may this be the right time right place for them. For those who are not here today for reasons that they, they may be sick or they may be traveling, we just pray that you're with them in spirit. 
Father, we just ask of you to use Pastor James as he deliver your word today that it may, you know, uh, help us in our lives to just live more like Christ, to be more like Christ. Father, lastly, we ask for forgiveness. We know that we are forgiven, but for the times that we have sinned, for the times that we have, you know, disobeyed, for the times that we have fallen short, we know that um, you're still there, you know, extending your arms, knowing that we are redeemed. Father, we love you, we glorify you, we give you thanks, for you always been, have been faithful to us. 2017 is over, almost over. It's just a number. 2018 is just right around the corner. But we know you are with us. All this we pray and all this we declare in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.
today as we finish 2017, um, I just want to bring up a verse that is familiar to many, many of us. Um, it's Lamentations 3, uh, 20, 21, sorry. Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning, great is your faithfulness. So I don't know how 2017 was for you, but um, going into 2018, we have hope that his mercies are new every morning, and his faithfulness never fails us.
We thank you that through your son that you have given us a hope for the future, Father. That you are not dead, Father, or that you are not distant or absent, Father, but you are present in every single one of our lives, Father. That you are a personal God who longs to know us, Father God. We just thank you for this hope that you have just reminded us today, Father, and that a new year, Father, brings you blessings, new opportunities, more ways to serve you, Father, and may we just be encouraged by that and you know, be held back by the things that have held us down this year, Father God, but may we just give it all to you, Father. May we remember the promises that you have for us, that they are good, that you are faithful and you keep your promises to your people, Father. Father, we just lift up this new year, may we present ourselves ready to take on any ways that you have called us, Father, to um, look for ways to serve you, Father, to um, serve your people as well, Father God. Um, may you just find us faithful in this week. And in all this, we pray in your son's most precious name, Father. Please be seated. Good morning again, church. Welcome to First Philippine Baptist Church. We're glad that you're here. We hope and pray that you will experience uh, God's love, power, and majesty in today's service. May this day be a celebration of His faithfulness. We pray and hope that uh, we are ready for 2018. Let me rephrase that. We are ready for God's calling for this coming year. All right, let's all welcome each other by, you know, standing up and, you know, giving each other a handshake. Sunday School organization. Um, as uh, Brother Kim said, 
the survey uh, that you see principally revolves around our adult Sunday school. Um, Pastor James, um, Ate Ruth, uh, Cootie Lester, our elder, and myself have been working hard to try to uh, make some positive changes in our Sunday school organization to serve God and serve you in your uh, growth with the Lord. Some of the changes you're going to be seeing uh, immediately are in the nursery area and in uh, dealing with our children. We want to make it easy for our young couples to not have roadblocks and be able to come here, not be afraid to put their child in the nursery, know that they're getting quality care. We want our young couples here with their children. So you'll be seeing that change immediately. Um, there is room for you to write comments on here too. We may not have hit up with uh, everything, but feel free as the Lord leads to write your comments. Um, with our adult Sunday school organization, this next quarter, starting next week, Kudia Lester and Lynn Norris will be uh, starting with the history of Christianity. Um, come and hear about that in adult Sunday school. Learn how to defend your faith. Learn where your roots came from. A very important topic. That will be going on for three months, and then there will be another topic after that about the preservation and transmission of God's Word and even how to use extra biblical resources to defend your faith to somebody that we even look at by. So very important year, uh, half year coming up, I think, here. And lastly, you're hearing about the Celebration Luncheon. The Celebration Luncheon on January 14th is for the entire church. But this is in celebration of finishing two years of studying the Book of Revelation. Revelation 1-3 tells us that if we read aloud the words of that prophecy and study them and take them into our hearts, that we will be especially blessed. And if you, for many reasons, didn't get to come to this study, come to the lunch, because you're going to hear a lot of blessings, testimony, people talking about what they receive from God's Word as we, we delve into Revelation. Um, this is going to feature Filipino foods, including lunch on family. So <laughs> you don't have to bring anything, just yourself. You don't want it there, uh, whether you were in that study or not. So thank you. Thank you, Brother Bob. And that's uh, one good example that uh, we have witnessed, you know, God, God's faithfulness working through our church, even with Brother Bob's uh, scooter around, he didn't stop him from, you know, teaching Sunday school. And just uh, uh, repeating what he says as far as the next Sunday, this is part of the new lesson as far as the history of Christianity and uh, our elder uh, Lester will be uh, teaching that and everyone, you're welcome to come, you know, not only the adults, but from high school, college, you know, all of you are welcome. And that starts at 9.50 in the morning. And before we prepare ourselves for our pledges and our tithes, we would like to greet our celebrants for, not this month, but for you know next week, starting January. January 2nd is the birthday of Lerma Deason. Happy birthday. For Pia Soy, January 4th. We pray, and let's all pray for Pia that uh, she may uh, feel better. She's uh, under the weather. Um, January 4th, also, as far as an anniversary, you know, celebrating God's faithfulness through marriage, we have the Mansalas, John and Bon. And then on the 5th, another couple, the Tans, Joe Marie and Janet. Let us pray. Father God, we just uh, thank you for, you know, birthdays, anniversaries, birthdays, uh, remembering that you gave us life, uh, life, you know, full of love, and mercy, and grace. Anniversaries through marriage, you know, you've given us an example of how your son, who was uh, married to his people, to his church, how he was uh, obedient and faithful. As we prepare ourselves 
you know, in giving of our tithes may not just be, you know, giving, you know, a portion of what we have coming from you each Sunday, but giving, you know, our hearts to you every day, giving our lives for your kingdom. Father, we just thank you for your faithfulness, and we know and believe that 2018 it will be a great year not because of what we will accomplish or what we will, you know, uh, uh, get in return, but because we know that you're always with us. Again and again, we thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray.